What's going on everybody? It's Robin here. Thanks for joining me for your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Sunday, February 27th, and this is for the collective. So it doesn't matter what you got going on out there. If you're here, thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy the reading. Uh, okay, so we focus on manifesting on Sundays, okay? Let's see if there's any gifts coming in for you, anything that you need to learn about yourself or the universe, law of attraction. Um, and sometimes any manifestation blocks. Um, okay, so my guides kind of backed off there for a second. I'm going to clear the deck. Just one second. I felt like the guide that sits right over here. Ow. Backed up and I don't know why. Okay, maybe they're making room for somebody else, but let's just continue on. Okay, so we do have the Empress card here, you guys. So this is really getting a grip on what it is that you are trying to multiply in your life. Okay, so the Empress, she makes her own opportunity. She's the divinity. You want to associate her with the energy of Mother Earth and replenishment and abundance and she is the harbinger of good fortune and good news you know um this is the card that you want to see when you are trying to birth new opportunities into your life so um especially um i'm getting the word resplendent for anybody that is trying to you know bring a new addition into the home whether that is going to be a child or um, like a roommate or a partner you know, if you're looking to add to your home in any way, this could definitely be a large piece of furniture <laughs> as well. <laughs> Not related just strictly to anything with the heartbeat, but anything that will make you feel like a little bit more complete. This is why you're getting the Empress card today. Okay, so I'm still getting that really weird. It's almost like a... They're seeing like a memory trail, okay? So I, I, I'm getting the sense that we're relating that absence of the guide where something was almost given to you and it was removed. Think of that, okay? So what did you almost have your hands on? What was like so close you could almost taste it, you know? And then it was sort of nipped back. Whoop, <laughs> sorry, not for you. This is going to go to somebody else and you were like, uh, you know, jaw drop and you're like, uh, okay. So that's what was being represented by that guide moving away and then slowly coming back in. Okay. So it's like you were so close to it again. Like it was like you almost had it in your bank account, in your living room, in your driveway, in your belly, you know. But it's like, it was shipped to the wrong address, you know? The universe was like, oh, here you go. This is for you, you know, we love you so much. So we're gonna give you this great big gift. And then somebody from Universal, like source shipping and receiving, they're like, oh, wrong address, wrong person, wrong human. So they yanked it back away from you and you're like gobsmacked standing there, uh, hello, <laughs> you know? Um, so yours got waylaid took a trip around the universe and it's coming back in for you today because you never gave up faith in that you deserved it um that this will be yours okay so even in that moment where it was like so close and maybe you were a little bit sad about it you know and probably a little bit hurt and angry too because you probably blamed yourself for something being removed but it wasn't you it was somebody in source shipping and receiving okay so um through that faith that you have in yourself with the six of wands this is being divinely supported and being triumphant and always picturing yourself at the finish line instead of standing at the starter blocks, face planting while everybody else takes off, okay? So today could be the realization. And for some of you, this could be that lost love from years ago, or, you know, maybe you were one digit away from winning the the multi max millionaire blah 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 or you know trying really hard to have a child or you know just really 
where you think that, okay, I'm just going to keep on trying because I really want it. It is still coming into you. And the universe apologizes, okay? Because this is what happened to you. It's like, well, don't I deserve that? Okay, so you're being asked to pick yourself back up because this wasn't your fault, okay? Whatever happened where something was like, it was like, like knocking on your door, like it was right there. And then, oh, whoops, you know? So this caused you quite a bit of a significant pain here. But that's all going to be in the past because you can see how these two tall, full, beautiful cups are almost there. They're almost knocking on your door. So be prepared to answer for that thing that massively got away, possibly broke your heart. It wasn't your fault. Blame it on the universe's postage and shipping and handling, okay? And it's coming back around. Honestly, you guys, I'm going to go. Bye.